This is a staff common room of the University Staff Business School at Legon. Almost every student from kindergarten to GHS3 is wearing a nose mask due to the stench emanating from the liquid waste spread on the compound of the school. The situation, according to the school's management, is disrupting academic work. The continuous flow of the sewage through the entrance is gradually spreading across the compound. We later found out the spillage is as a result of a broken pipe from the Legon Hospital, which has eight pipes passing through the school. This classroom has been abandoned by students due to the stench. This classroom has been deserted by students because the stench that emanates from the liquid waste that come from the Legon Hospital is too much for them to bear. So they have to go and join the other colleagues in the other classroom to study. A situation teachers are saying is very bad and it's affecting teaching here. Both GHS 2, A and B are combined. A situation the student says is affecting their studies. For how long have you been experiencing this bad stench? For about one month now. For about a month now? Yeah. Okay, so how is this affecting your learning here? We can't learn because we are combined here. And the weather too is hot, so we are suffering. The scent is so bad to the student, it affects our, our learning. Even they crowded us in one class, and this class is very hot. We cannot stay, as you can see, we are hot here. None of the teachers would speak on camera, not even the security supervisor whom we met on the campus. Later, we saw a team of workers from the Legon Hospital assessing the situation, but would also not comment. Joseph Armstrong, go with Alibi. T3 News, Legon. So let's go to the Legon Hospital where my colleague Martin Esiedu Data is joining us to update us on the current situation. So we are reaching you live. We are reaching you live from the University Staff Village Basic School. You're still watching Midday Live on TV3, also live, live on DSTV Channel 2, 7 now. We're working the lines to get back to Martin Yesiru at the Legon Hospital. Tell us a lot more about this liquid waste and how it is posing threat to pupils and students of the Legon Staff School. It's from on my far right, that is a university hospital. And the problem is that for the last month and a bit over that, there seemed to be a problem. Water seeps out of the sewage onto the uh, school compound. And this is water that smells. So if you enter the premises, all the teachers and the students have these face masks on. And when we got there, we could also attest to that fact that the stench emanating from the sewer is deadly. We have some of the teachers here, they'll be talking to us briefly, but I'm sure you saw in the story that was played a while ago where the water that was spilled on the floor was shown. And just after yesterday's report, if you see right here in front of me, they have come to show some level of work. And if you look down within, it is a concrete, a mixture of cement to try and cover the sewer, which probably has burst. So what they are trying to do is give a temporary solution to a problem that has persisted for well over a month. Let's talk to some of the teachers briefly and find out what the problem has been for them. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. What is your name? Thank you. My name is Kabrina Opoku Asemsro. What subject do you teach and how, what kind of problem have you been facing and how long have you had this problem? I teach mathematics. Mm. Um, this problem has been occurring for the past years. It has been a perennial problem. But then any time we inform the university authorities to come see to it, they come here and do something shoddy and go back. But then the past two weeks, this has been very serious, mm. as you can see. And that these are our classrooms where this whole issue actually halted academic work. Mm. And then we just took the initiative yesterday to let them know and of course, you people also heard of the issue. So you came here, just as they heard you guys were here, they also ran here to fix this thing. And this is a temporal thing. And as you can see, the stench is still yeah. all over the place. We can still not concentrate. We are uncomfortable. Mm. You come here as a teacher or a worker, a student, you can't eat under this condition. Mm. Teachers can come to school the whole day they've not eaten anything because of the stench and even for the pupils how are yes. they taking this the people they don't concentrate because of the stench they are unable to concentrate mm. whenever you are teaching mm. they are covering their noses they're uncomfortable 
fanning their, their, their noses with, 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 uh, with books, for books and stuff. And stuff. So academic ha, work Have you raised this? L let me find out from um, your other colleagues here. Thank you for joining us. Just yeah, briefly yeah. your name. I'm Mr. Lee. I teach English here. Okay. Yes, uh, it has been a problem with the entire student population here. Mm. We've tried several getting a permanent solution to this problem, but uh, it's not working. Have you, have you, in the course of all this, spoken to the parents of the wards when they bring them in? And what kind of contribution do you think the parents have given? Or have they said anything about it at all? Yes, at a point in time, the PTA chairman took it over, visited the estate department. They always bring their men to fix it, but it's, it recurs. It recurs. So just yesterday, after your protest came in, they came in quickly to actually do what we are all seeing now. Mm. The director in charge of uh, PDMSD, one Mr. Kofi Inti, visited the school this morning and assured the staff that by close of day, the whole place will be fumigated and then the problem will be fixed once and for all. Okay. What we have also seen is that, okay, madam, uh, as teachers, how concerned are you looking at the fact that day in, day out, you come here to face a problem that there seems not to be any solution to? It is a big worry to us. Mm. Uh, that is why yesterday we reported to them that it's our wish that they even direct the whole thing mm. from here. Since it's uh, worrying us, we can't eat. Mm. The children, one serious thing is that you see the KG people putting their hands in the water. They don't know what mm. it, will, it, will, it will be done to them. You see, so it's a big problem. And we wish it's fixed once and for all. Okay. Fortunately, as they say, TV or radio, for that matter, does get results. And it is the lives of Ghanaians, teachers who have put their lives on the line. And worst of all, children as young as those that are in primary or basic schools that attend KG, kindergarten it, it is, who come here to learn. Well over 900 pupils attend this school and their lives are at risk. The city authorities must do something about this because even when the report came out, some of them thought that it was a threat to their jobs and wanted to gag the media or stop the teachers from letting the, the, the lights be shown on such a problem which is of risk and concern to all. We hope that a permanent solution is found to this problem. From the premises of the university teachers, uh, um, staff village, uh, basic school that is, my name is Martin Isidudat. We will keep an eye on this development and make sure that whatever updates we get, we bring it to you. Back to you in the studio. Thank you very, very much, Martin. And sure, we'll keep an eye on this because Media General is starting a campaign to check in sanitary environmental conditions in the country. So you'll be seeing a lot more of these stories going forward. You can also be a part of the campaign by following us with the hashtag MG Clean Ghana or hashtag Act Now. Let us find a way to solve the insanitary conditions in the country.